Just give me a reason to keep my heart beating Don't worry, it's safe right here in my arms As the world falls apart around us All we can do is hold on What is up guys, this is DT Ninja here to bring you my finale live reaction of Naruto Gaiden. I cannot believe this is going to be the final live reaction of for Naruto, uh, anything Naruto. This is crazy. I cannot believe that this is actually happening, but I'm really hyped, you know, for the finale. Um, really hyped, you know. I never really thought that I would get an opportunity, you know, to speak with you guys like this again, especially after my live stream stream of and discussion of chapter 700 like you know it was just so shocking uh, to me that you know it's ending this soon uh, but really I've really enjoyed this series I've really enjoyed uh, what Kishimoto has given us you know the new generation really incredible I really have enjoyed uh, you know seeing you know my newest favorite character Sarada yo Sarada is a freaking beast I love her uh, just so much uh, into this, you know, I love seeing how Sakura has grown. I love how seeing Sasuke has grown. I love how seeing Naruto has grown. You know, just everything about Gaiden has been great. Uh, the mystery, you know, the suspense. I mean, all the all the villains, you know, they're not um, really shown as villains, and that's something that Kishimoto has really tried to push through the entire Naruto series. As we see the villain, are they really villains? You know, as we see. Obito is just misunderstood and it's not really misunderstood it's more you know neglected uh, right his his, his um, you know he his sensei was away he lost everything so you know then when he was off on his own he saw Rin die in front of his eyes and you know he wanted revenge uh, so that's why you know he took over the village and trying you know to create this this dream world so that she could be in it uh, and also you know so we could forget everything so we hid under the mask now was he really a villain uh, some would say no because he redeemed himself in the end and he told Naruto you will become Okage that was just incredible to me that was just incredible to me he wasn't really the villain right he even told mother you're nothing like me I'm not you I'm Obito Uchiha. I remember who I am. And then, Madara is another one. Madara is just misunderstood, used uh, ways around. He did kill a lot of people. I mean, that guy, uh, you know, is is bad but at the same time he's just misunderstood at the very end of the entire series we see him you know with Hashirama and even Hashirama accepts him as his friend as they're dying you know they they, they accept each other for who they were to begin with and that was just great you know seeing that from them you know and he's not really a villain either and Kaguya again Kaguya the very final villain uh, is she a really a villain? Because when she went to kill someone, you know, something inside her was preventing her from doing it. You know, something inside her was telling her that these are like my children. Naruto and Sasuke are like my, my children. Maybe, you know, they can, you know, save me. Maybe they can save me. And that's what I think what she was trying to, you know, reach out to them to begin with, but, you know, that Jubi's trapped within her. Uh, so, obviously, the Black Zetsu, this creature, you know, that was trying to control her, this was the evil half of her. So, again, not really a villain. The only villain that you could really say was Black Zetsu, and that was kind of a corrupted soul of Kaguya. Uh, Orochimaru, again, he is somewhat a villain but at the end at the end of the story you know he redeemed himself as well even in Gaiden we can see he's kind of a rogue ninja but not really a villain you know he's kinda off on his own um, but just the way Kishimoto does things makes it seem as if there's not really a villain to begin with um, and Shin's the same way I believe Shin is just misunderstood uh, by others and you know 
he just took the wrong path. He took the wrong path. He trusted Orochimaru that he would show him the way to immortality. That's just how I feel when I see his character. Um, but there are villains uh, to begin with. But do they end up villains when they die? No. Obviously, Zabuza was a killer. You know, Naruto got through to this guy. And, I mean, he was in tears. So this guy wasn't really a villain either. Haku's another one. You know, Haku gave Naruto that great speech of about finding that precious one, and he uses that in the last movie, uh, you know, to find, to, you know, to, to go after Hinata. Those are incredible characters, guys. That is what Naruto is about. That is why I love Naruto, because there's just so much depth in the characters. It's not just black and white, you know? And it's okay if the villain is not you know, evil, evil, evil character, uh, because I really believe that Kishimoto is trying to show us that ninja are just misunderstanding each other. Naruto and, you know, Hagoromo are the real ones that can connect to each other with their chakra, and that's what we're seeing throughout, right? That's what we've seen uh, time and time again. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was just, you know, a little a bit about my feelings on Naruto and the villains of Naruto. I don't really see an actual villain in Naruto as uh, you know, we saw Kabuto was somewhat a villain, and he turns, you know, actually realizing it through Itachi that he has another purpose. He does know who he is. He just has to, you know, accept it, or he will always remain lost. He'll always remain lost. And I believe Sasuke is the same exact way. You know, he was lost. But Naruto never gave up on him. It's the same idea, uh, you know, yin and yang, black and white, uh, not, not really black and white, dark and light. Um, but yeah, you guys get the idea. But anyways, that's my feelings on the villains of Naruto. I don't think there's really a specific villain. And that's what I love about Gaiden. It seems like it's focused around the characters, the incredible characters that he set. Alright guys, so... Uh, I want to explain something because I didn't do a chapter 9 review, but what I'm going to do is a chapter 9 and 10 review together, uh, so it's going to take a little time, but I promise you it will be worth it because it will show the visual walkthrough of the entire series, so all my color scans all the way through with some OST as well as my last two reviews chapter 9 and chapter 10 uh, so I can promise you that um, I will also be doing a Naruto uh, Boruto movie discussion and trailer so I'm going to do my own uh, version of the trailer I always like doing the voices I mean I've got my own uh, recording microphone here so I'm going to do my own version of the trailer uh, I always enjoy doing that um, and also Along with that, I'll be doing a discussion that will have some translations that I did for the Boruto movie poster. And if you guys follow my Facebook, you probably have seen some of those scans already. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is what I'm going at. And don't forget, this weekend I will be doing a live stream discussion on Naruto Gaiden finale. We'll be discussing a lot of favorite moments things that you really enjoyed about this series, things that you wish that they would have, you know, touched on more, things uh, in the movie that you're looking forward to, what you think might happen in the movie, and also Bleach. So that will be a pretty epic live stream. So take, uh, you know, remember that it'll be uh, around 11 p.m. my time, so that's 10 a.m., uh, Eastern Time in America. So yeah, if you guys want to join in, feel free. If you want to get in the comment section, do that as well. And we can, you know, chat. Uh, and that'd be great. Uh, so let's get into my Naruto Gaiden, uh, you know, finale. Yo, this is the finale. This is why I'm talking this much is because I'm just, you know, just, I can't believe it's almost over. So I'm just, you know, like, uh, trying to get as much as I can into this, this finale. But guys, uh, you guys remember chapter one, where before I even started the live reaction uh, for Gaiden, I wrote this poem about Naruto, and we read it, 
you know, I read it out loud and you guys, um, most of you guys enjoyed it and at the end it turned out to be Kakashi speaking for Naruto uh, about how he's changed everything, you know, he's, he's, he's helped people, you know, he's changed the way the ninja world operates, you know, and he's the reason why we're all here, why the new era is possible, so that was really cool. Now, now that one was about Naruto, now I've written another one, and this one is about uh, I don't want to reveal who it's about, but you guys can try to figure out who it's about. Uh, there's actually, it's actually about two characters, but I hope you guys enjoy this finale uh, poem because, uh, like I said, I, I didn't do a chapter 9 poem, so I did one just, you know, for specifically for this finale. I hope you guys enjoy. It's called My Own Path. My Own Path. On this journey, she's been through a lot. She's laughed. She's cried. She's even fought. Finding her dad, she just couldn't wait. But all the lies were just a mistake. The dangers she faced, the pain she could not escape. Her mother that kept her faith, her father she couldn't replace. All of this she could no longer take. Everything seemed to be out of place. The mystery that made her frown. The shock that turned her world upside down. Only one person understood her and could turn things around. He showed you what it means to believe. I'm sorry if it seems you were deceived. Father, I finally found my own path. Now. There's no turning back. You wanted me to decide on my own. I think I understand now. I've grown. My daughter, she means the world to me. Like my older brother said, Itachi. She's an Uchiha too. Strong, and she'll find a way. I'm her father after all. Uchiha. Sasuke. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wanted to do that for a while actually. You know, bring Fugaku also into the mix of the entire Uchiha clan, you know. Uh, he is the leader of the clan. He was the leader of the clan, you know. It's really great to see, you know, his, actually his, his quote coming through the new generation, you know, to her granddaughter, uh, you know, Sarada. So, um, yes, let's get to the live reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Alright guys, so here's the live reaction. Okay, let's get to the chapter, chapter 10. What appears in those eyes? Alright, so the finale begins. I can hardly contain myself right now. Alright, so an echoing roar. Sadada, attack everything with your fists. Okay, so she smashes the ground like last week we saw, and every Shin uh, clone is, you know, flying left and right. Pretty crazy, right? Uh, okay, what appears in those eyes? So she's got the Shinigami, and you see all these Shins being pushed back by her sheer force of the attack. As Sakura is like, Whoa, you know, like, she is not playing around. And then you got Naruto. When this, wow, Shin just goes in for an attack on Naruto right in his chest. And Naruto takes it. Naruto takes it and he's like, is that all you got, kid? <laughs> wow. Wow. Actually, what's what's incredible here is, yo, he's like, crack, crack, he just, he cracks, he cracks the, the, um, the weapon that he's holding, and he's like, calm down, kid. And that one kid, uh, has the Shinigami, and... Wow, wow, okay, yeah, Naruto is like looking him straight in the eye, and I don't know if that kid can see Kurama or what, but he is petrified. I mean, he is like, 
he's like shaking. I think he can see Karama, cause like he's shaking. Like what in the hell is that? And there's nothing to be afraid of. If you don't do any worse than this, neither then neither will we. So Naruto is basically saying, you know, we're not your enemy anymore. And he's like, what? <laughs> what? And Sasuke's like, you're too soft as usual. So what are you going to do with these guys? And then Naruto's like, all right. Konoha is an organization to support orphan kids. I'll talk to their leader. Wow, that's incredible. So Naruto's like, we're not going to let these kids, you know, go off on their own. You know, they need a home. So he's like, hey, these guys seem to have some kind of showering gun. Are you really going to support kids like them? And he's like, yeah. They're still just kids after all. Just need a bit of training. Wow, 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 wow. This is a huge change from the last generation. I mean, you guys, I mean, this is incredible. This is an enemy that was supposedly, you know, attacking them. And Naruto just straight up says, you know, you can come back with us. We'll find you a home. Now, that's incredible for, for him to be able to do that. And guys, if you notice, he probably, you know, not only cracked the, the weapon, but he's probably, you know, showing, uh, you know, not only Krama, but his, his powers here uh, of, of uh, you know, uh, not talk no jutsu, but ninshu as well, you know, able to convince and not manipulate. It's more of a convincing, you know, uh, influencing. His influencing is incredible. Influence incredible uh, when it comes to enemies. You know, I only did it with Nagato. Uh, you go Sarada. So here's Chocho. Seems like your whole family is awesome. Total super strength. Uh, uh, Sarada? Your eyes are doing the same thing as your dad's. Yeah, so she's like holding some, and she's like gripping her hands, and she's realizing like the power. Wow, you know, I'm this powerful? What the? You know? And he's like, Sarada, are you okay? So Sakura is here. This kid does nothing but make me worry. Sorry. I'm so glad you're safe. So Sakura, there we go again. We get the, the mother-daughter moment again, but this time it's in real uh, time, not, not in the past. So now she's, you know, almost smothering her. Uh, and Naruto, obviously, and Sasuke are watching. But she's like, too tight, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. I've heard most of the story from Shizune. Damn it. You're my child, no doubt about it. An idiot child, that is. Yeah, I know. It's fine now. We have all of these thoughts and memories. It's our feelings that connect us all overall. Yo! Yo, that flashback! Yo! Kishimoto! Oh my gosh, and I colored that scan, guys. I colored that scan. That's incredible. So, you know, Sarada just straight up said the same thing that Sakura said in Chapter 1. Now she's the one, you know, almost comforting Sakura. She says, I'm sorry, we should have told you from the start. And no, she's like, it's okay. Those memories we have, those thoughts we have, but it's the feelings that connect us together. And that's what's incredible, you know, the feelings, the, the love, the love. That's what really makes a connection. That's how you connect uh, one another, you know. That, that's incredible. And then she's like, our hearts are what, with Papa. So that's all that matters. That is the same thing uh, that Sakura says. So really incredible. And then Sakura is like, Dad, do you think your feelings are well and truly connected to Mom? And he's like, yeah. And he, like, he turns away, and she's like, how come that's all you can say about it? So she's kind of a little, you know, not not really, uh, you know, satisfied with that answer. And wow, 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 okay, we get this huge panel of Sakura and uh, Sasuke together, and they both say, because we have you, Sarada. And she's like, 
Uh, you know, like, oh my God, like my parents are standing in front of me, you know, where, where have they been all this time? And then she starts crying. And so then Cho, Chocho's like, good for you, Sarada. Well then, let's go home then. We're going to have to give each of them their own name for convenience. So here we got uh, back in Konoha, the orphan, the orphanage where, you know, in Konoha where they accept these kids that were lost. And er, there are just too many of them before that happens. My name is Kabuto. Oh, Kabuto. There's no need to be shy. Oh, Kabuto. We haven't seen him in forever. So Kabuto is there. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Now we have the gate opening. The the ah sign for, you know, the first letter of the alphabet. If you guys don't know that, uh, it actually said, it's translated there. The gate ah, that is the first letter of the alphabet for the Japanese. And n, which is in, uh, that is the last letter of the alphabet. So that's the last uh, alphabet. Uh, so beginning and end, right? Beginning and end. All right, so they're returning to the village and they look kind of worn out. Ah, oh, man, it was supposed to be my trip to find, uh, it was supposed to be my, it was supposed to be a trip to find my dad. But instead we found your dad, Sadada. Next, it's gonna be my turn, so you gotta help. And she's like, er, yeah. Been a while since we've had this many missions. You mean it's been a while for you, so you've pushed yourself too hard? You pushed yourself too hard. I just got a feeling about that guy. So, like, are you maybe my dad? And so Chocho goes over to this guy, and she's like, What are you saying, Chocho? Of course I'm your dad. But, wow, wow, interesting. We got Eno, and we got Shoji, and Shoji's looking thin, you know. He's got some, you know, special jutsu going on here of the Akamichi clan, and he's, she's like, what? Are you for real, Dad? All right, Shoji, it's been a while since you've had a figure like that, eh? It'd be a shock to anyone who didn't know. Well... Yeah, I guess if you put it like that. Dad, what the heck? Some secret passed down through the Akamichi clan? Well, like, kinda. Well, then you gotta train me. Let's start tomorrow. <laughs> and then you see Sadada. She's like cracking up. She's laughing in the background. That, that's pretty awesome. Alright. Alright, so now we have... Uh, Ino there and Choji, so Ino's like, Sasuke-kun, long time no see! Choji, Chocho, uh, Choji and Chocho have been looking for you forever. I was on a mission. Whoa, wait, what? Ha ha ha! So Sakura, Sakura's laughing. Okay, and now we have the scene at home. Okay, finally, the family moment at home, having breakfast it looks like. Maybe breakfast or lunch. Uh, really great. Uh, okay, so we have Sas Sasuke sitting down at the table. When will you be back next? Mmm. So he's leaving the village just as I predicted. Just as I predicted he would leave the village. Okay, so Sasuke, uh, you know, and she's a little, you know, sad. And he hugs her this time. Dad. Don't make that face. See you next time. And she gets the tap on the forehead. Yo! 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 My God. Oh, I just did this. This. The, oh, my God. You guys saw it last week. I did the, the panel with that with Itachi, with Sakura, you know, and now seeing it passed on to her daughter, you know, his daughter actually doing it to his daughter, this is incredible. So he's like, see you again soon, right, next time. And this time she understands, and she starts crying. 
And Sakura is also smiling. Right, here's your lunch. So Sakura gives her gives Sasuke her lunch. And he's about to say something. See you. I'll be back. And so she's a little let down because she was expecting a kiss, I think. You're going to keep me waiting? Oh. Yo. Sasuke, what are you thinking? <laughs> okay, so Sasuke is leaving the village again. Sakura has her sad face. Okay, thanks, eh? For what? For the lunchbox. You really gave it to him. No, thank you. Thanks to that, I was able to reach my goals. So it's really I should... So it's really me should be the one thanking you. So we have Boruto and Sadada now. What do you mean? It's not like I could deliver lunches to everyone in the whole village, so instead, I've decided to become Okage! Yo! Yo, it's just like I thought. Okay, freaking awesome. And he's like, Okage? Ridiculous. And she's like, huh? That's impossible. I'm the one who delivered Sarada. Whoa, whoa, so we get, we get, Karin is in here. She's like, I'm the one who delivered Sarada. Then that umbilical cord was between Sakura and Sarada. Sakura was chasing after Sasuke and we traveled together for a while. During that time, Sarada was born in our hideout. Are you serious? After all, you kept saying Sasuke, Sasuke all the time. Dumbass. I just want Sasuke to be happy. And besides, there's such a thing as friendship between women. Yo! So she does, you know, actually, you know, care that, you know, she saved her life. Oh, well, yeah, there's that. So then you're totally over him, are you? You just don't get it. Connections come in many forms. More than that, so we get to you little... You've got a lot to apologize to Sadada for. And you owe her a new pair of glasses. I think she's outgrown the last ones we gave her. There we go. I told you. I told you guys. This was... This is symbolic. Those glasses are symbolic. I told you. I. Oh my god. Okay, from chapter 700 I said this. Wow, okay, this is incredible. Incredible stuff, guys. Okay, and now we get the color page. What was reflected there was the real deal. Love. And she's there smiling. Oh, I love that color page. Oh, the ending is her with her family. Wow. Wow, wow. What reflected there was the real deal. Love. So she finally has the picture. Yo, that was incredible. Oh my god. I don't know how... Wow. Okay. Guys, seriously. Uh, this was an incredible ride. Uh, Naruto Gaiden. Uh, a lot was, you know, not touched on. But what was touched on was really well done. And that is what I'm going to go on. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction. As a fan of Sarada, I had to do this. One last thing, guys. Um, I decided to put my glasses on because, guys, if you look very carefully, I wear the same exact type of glasses that Sarada does. And I don't know if you guys have recognized, but also, you know, I'm a huge fan of Sarada, especially, you know, being... Uh, these last 10 chapters through everything, you know, just reading everything. Really incredible. I've enjoyed everything, so I wanted to, you know, to show you guys one last thing. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction, and as always, have an awesome day.